Good morning from I'm not at Bobblehead Homestead. I'm gonna need a new name for this place. I am still Jeff though. Uh, today is Friday and you just saw my last video which was probably a surprise. But yes, I just closed on this house and property on Wednesday and today is Friday. Today is my first day here as the owner of this property. Uh, today, I, there's no way I'm going to get through uh, explaining everything, so I am just going to do a property tour today. Um, I'll get to a house tour in the next video, and then I'll get through it all. I'll get through it all. I know there's going to be a million questions, and uh, I can't answer them all quickly. Uh, what I can do is show you the property. So, let's take a property tour. We've got neighborhood dogs. That's the view across the across the street from me, and here is the street and uh, my mailbox. Uh, my property goes like 50, 60 feet uh, there, and then uh, here's the driveway. And I got one of those poofy plants. I don't know what those are. They're kind of cool. Sorry about the wind. Um, yeah, there's the house. It's a one bedroom. You'll get a house tour later. Uh, plenty big for me bedroom living room office bathroom uh, It's got a septic system. I'll get to that and I'll probably say that ten times. I have a septic system here uh, And then going this way I've got a couple trees and um, It's a little bit steep. It's uh, not it, it probably looks more steep on video than it is in real life But yeah, that's the front yard and um <laughs> this is all cool so yeah my uh, you can see there's some fencing here and there's fencing along this is the driveway and my property goes over there's another fence oh yeah you can kind of see the other fence in there uh, but yeah some very nice big trees there's a nice big huge is that cedar some nice big trees so this area is fenced in and a uh, nice long driveway I can uh, plenty of room for me to turn around uh, so I don't have to back out of my driveway and uh, a porch on there we'll get to that later front yard again oh this is also exciting yeah nice uh ring of rocks around that old cedar and the fencing going along and what is that structure back there we'll get to it in a second um it's pretty well cleared out i mean you can see there's some brush in here but that won't take nothing uh it's not like not like my current property where it was all overgrown tons of rocks you can see the rocks so not much different here i'm kind of up on uh you know on the side of a ridge uh got a birdhouse more fencing along here the previous owner had chickens this is a really cool tree really cool Again, a nice old cedar tree, I do believe. Beautiful, beautiful big tree. And so the fencing goes over to there. You see, I've got a carport now. <laughs> um, and I'll show you that stuff. Here's the back door of the cabin. But yeah, a nice wide carport. And I've got a shed and you can uh, see that lights on the shed has electricity run to it so i've got a shed with electricity run to it and uh that i think that was uh the previous owner had a bunch of chickens so i think that's what that was and then behind there that's the water well i'll come back through here and explain more of that but yeah a nice decent big size shed 
Um, what else we got? I've got a water well here, and there is a water spigot in that little this little house thing. There's a water spigot right there, and then there's a water spigot uh, under that bucket. So two places to connect hoses. Um, that is a little uh, chicken brooder and that's a door on the, on the side for the chickens to go in and out of so if you've got a broody hen raising baby chicks that will definitely work for that and the fencing goes all the way back here here's my little gate and what are we looking at in here i'm getting there i'm getting there uh fenced in and on the other side of that fence is the Wachita National Forest. So that is very cool. My neighbor to the north is the Wachita National Forest. And what do we have here is a chicken coop. And um, then we have some other little structures that uh, looks like they've been used for raising chickens and dogs and or dogs. But uh, you know, useful stuff. But here we have the chicken coop as I go through the brush. Yeah, on this side there's some roosting bars and a little chicken run area. And then there's a door, a hole in the wall that goes into this side. And I will open up this yeah cool here we have uh some roofs and next there we've got some oh oh what was that here we have some roofs and you go oh is he done yet <laughs> okay some roosting bars and uh nesting boxes so this is Well, I hope they weren't shooting at me thinking I was an intruder. I own the place now. Um, yeah, roosting bars <laughs> and uh, nest boxes. But yeah, this is definitely a usable uh, chicken area. And then we've got, there's a covered chicken run here. They've got, uh, had some type of netting on top. You can see all the leaves. Um, but yeah, a covered, little covered chicken run. And I'm all set with my electric fencing. And the chicken run extends out there. So this is pretty cool. Now we're looking back towards, uh, uh, back towards the road. And there's, uh, I believe, a little fenced in area over here too. These two big posts. Um, yeah, two big posts, and then there's a little area in here. I don't know what that would have been used for, but handy. And it looks like this is uh, electric wire. So, uh, yeah, probably one strand running along the top of the fence. But very cool, very cool indeed. I can use, you know, as I'm moving my chickens over here, uh i could use you know use that chicken coop to uh to move some flocks while i move their coop over and yeah that's gonna be a whole thing but yeah plenty of area in here for my uh my little chicken operation and yep yep uh some smaller trees um you know i uh, but it's all, you know, it's all cleared. It's not a jungle like my current place is. And it is clean, and I'll get to that in a future talk. But, yeah, it's some nice, uh, nice national forest right there. Okay, wheelbarrow. You never know when that comes in handy, or maybe I'll have to trade it. 
Um, I think that was a dog, dog house, but it could be useful. Now it looks like a little brooder, so a lot of that can be useful. And there's that's an old like chicken tractor, the uh, almost Joel Salatin style. Um, not much of the wood on that will be useful, but some of the other stuff can be. And all right, this is you know there's some. I bought this as is. Uh, the previous owner had passed away, and so it's not all cleaned up like you would normally find. You know. Uh, which people do when they're selling houses so this was uh, probably bought brought the price down a little bit for me <laughs> and yeah one big brush pile over here and one pile of junk but that uh, that can be taken care of very quickly and then there's a uh, fencing that goes along here in back of the the shed so very cool very cool it's like a clothesline this is the water well that is the well house um this place does run off the water well there is uh you know uh municipal water or whatever at the road if i do want to uh connect to that um so that's very cool and then there's fencing along this this part of the property and we've got kind of a steep uh <laughs> steep drop off there but there's a nice nice little creek I'm, um, it's probably seasonal. It's it there's uh, probably doesn't run year-round only after big rains would it uh, Would it fill up? But no worry. I'm way up here. No worry about flooding for me, and that's the road and then there's a, a Property right there. It's abandoned. Nobody lives in it. So really I've only got neighbor on one side of me and uh uh, on the other side of my property, there's a neighbor and uh, across the street But other than that This is it. No more dirt roads No more dirt roads and I have a septic tank <laughs> I have septic 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 Oh, oh that is a good feeling Okay so now we're on, uh, what is this, the west side of the house, uh, central air conditioner, um, it, it has a furnace, it also has a wood stove, but we'll, you'll see that one once we get inside. I gotta, I gotta get the HVAC stuff, um, you know, checked out and tuned up and, and all that stuff. Uh, that looks like a, might have been a garden bed at one time. And... Here's an antenna. I don't watch TV. You might need it for the cell phone signals around here, though. Not a very good cell phone signal. Oh, and yeah, the previous owner had dogs in addition to chickens, so I've got a fence going up here. Um, yeah, another birdhouse. And another nice, big, beautiful tree. Well, I don't know what kind this is, but I love them when they're that big. It's like I got some irises. Yeah, and there's a. I saw a few patches of irises around here. Oh, and then that uh, that is a buried propane tank. A buried propane tank. So I've got a big old. I don't know how how many gallons it is, but that's a big old propane tank that can run the run the furnace I am betting and that's the front porch but this fence is in my way so I can't really show you much I'm standing at the front door here and this is a little view of my front yard it's kind of uh, stepped off but uh, plenty you can do with that I've got a I've got a loud neighbor who plays 
his music too loud. Now that that music stopped, I'll give this another try. I'm standing at the front door and this is my front yard. Give you a little view out to the road. It's kind of a step off, um, you know, layers. And there's an old stump and an old tree. But uh, I can do some gardening here. I could also throw some... You know well, interrupted again. At least, uh, at least this music's better. But I gotta wait for the song to end. Okay, the west side of the house. And that nice big beautiful tree. Got the uh, buried propane tank. Electrical service. And this is part of my front yard here. Lots of places for me to move irises and lilies and gladiolas. And uh, yeah, front yard, that'd be eventually a uh, good enough place for for a decent sized garden. Um, this tree, this tree might need to come down. It's, uh, you know, right in the power line, so it's having to be trimmed all the time. And I got my electric going there with the tree, so that will be, that will be in my plans. Where I'm getting started here is removing that tree and then I've got the nice front yard I'll probably throw chickens in here to start <laughs> they'll get that cleaned up and uh, yeah put a flock in here for a month or so let them clean it all up and then uh, then we can go on with the gardening and yeah front porch some type of bush there. I'll have to figure out what that is. Another one on the other side of the front steps. But, alright, we did a full, full tour walk around. Big old stump. And a big old log. Huh? Figure out something to do with that. Anybody know what these plants are? I've heard their names before. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but yeah, I see those all around over here. They're pretty cool. They got those fluffy, uh, I don't know, fluffy heads on the plants, but those are pretty cool. And there we go. Now let's sit down and talk for a minute. Surprise! <laughs> oh. This is, this came out of nowhere. It was not my plan. I was not shopping for a property. I had no intentions. I had to take out a loan. I had no intentions of going into debt. But as you will, will be revealed in the next few, few videos, uh, this was, this is a great idea for me. Um, let's see more about the property. It's 1.6 acres. So it is quite a bit smaller than my current property. Um, but this is, uh, you know, it's, uh, I don't mind. I don't mind going down in size because this is mostly usable and there's no trash on it. And uh, part of it doesn't flood every time it rains. And so uh, I wasn't even using this much land on my current property yet uh, because of the trash and because of the flooding. So, um, you know, I'm not really downgrading as far as uh, the property size goes um, when I consider what's in use in, on my old property versus what I can use here. So um, I'm happy about that. And I won't tell you the price yet. You haven't, I haven't given you a tour of the inside of the cabin. So I'll wait and tell you uh, uh, how much I paid for it once you get the inside the cabin tour. But yeah, the property is 1.6 acres. Where, oh, where am I at? I'm in Waldron. Well, I'm like 10 miles outside of Waldron. And yeah, closer to Drew. He's the one who came across this property and, uh, and told me about it. And, and so yeah, I am uh, just a hop, skip, and a jump. Not even a hop, skip, and a jump. More like a hop from Drew's place. So outside of Waldron, 
This is, it's about 45 minutes from Bobblehead Homestead where I'm at now. It's only like 28 miles away. But because you gotta go through forests and around mountains, it takes about 45 minutes to get here. Um, what else can I tell you about the property? It's, uh, yeah, a lot of it's fenced in. Uh, you know, it's not a jungle like, uh, like more than half of my current places. Uh, I can weed eat this up and have it trimmed up in no time. A few trees that uh, might help to come down. There's uh, one junk pile, we can get rid of that. Uh, uh, one brush pile, that, w that won't be much. Um, yeah, the chicken coop is, you know, good enough to get started. Uh, for one flock anyway, I've got, what, 10? <laughs> I plan on having 10. And yeah, I've been so excited about this. Um, I, uh, we learned about this in October. Well, I, I started, uh, Drew's known about this for a while. The previous owner here had passed away. And so, but uh, anyway, that's a whole long story for another video. But yeah, three months ago, three months ago is when I started looking into uh, purchasing this place. Uh, it never would have been done without YouTube and without all of your help. This is, you know, I have the, the, the cabin that Love built, um, the tiny cabin that Love built, and oh yeah, the million questions with that. We'll get to it in a future video. But yeah, this summer, um, it just was not the anyway you all helped me out and uh this is the result of that uh all of that help i was you know i was getting ready to pour it into bobblehead homestead and to uh uh try to you know really improve that place but then this opportunity came up and it was a no-brainer for me that this was the was the direction i needed to go so thank you all of that help that you sent me, what, back in August, I saved, uh, well, after I spent money on an uh, incubator and chickens, I saved every penny, and uh, that is how I was able to get this place. My YouTube income uh, history over the past two years, that helped me be able to get the loan. So, you know, this is the homestead that YouTube bought for, uh, for Jeff. Uh, no longer well I'll be bobblehead homestead for a while but I'm moving all right enough yapping for right now uh, I'm going to film an inside uh, house tour video and that'll be uh, that'll be the video for tomorrow uh, so with that I'll see you in the video tomorrow I'll let you know uh, what I paid for it and, and I'll get to all the questions eventually Give me a few, give me a few videos to get through it. And it might take me longer to get through those videos because apparently I've got a very noisy neighbor. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody.